hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing well thank you for clicking on this video if you are new here please consider subscribing like the video share the video invite others to join this very beautiful family to my old subscribers thank you guys for always always coming back so today's video we are doing something very very interesting i like videos like this because you get to know me and of course i'll know some of you in the comment section as well it is very obvious that now we are like prisoners but it's fine very soon life will be normal again we'll be traveling from one country to another from one city to another traveling must not only be out of your home country okay you can travel and enjoy life within your country i know that all of us we cannot wait to visit our friends family members boyfriends girlfriends husband and wife grandmothers grandfathers so yeah today's video is all about travel tag questions and i was tagged by this beautiful melanin queen pretty v237 she's a cameronia youtuber please check out her videos i'm going to leave a link in my description box so check out her channel subscribe and be a permanent <laughs> follower okay that's our pretty v she's always looking pretty for us and looking dashy as well that's her intro by the way so i'll just ride on ignore that mess okay i just have like 30 minutes to film this video real quick i was doing my makeup there so because i want to you know finish before my kids come here that's why everything is there okay so i have my questions here i'll be using uh the questions i found on google so let's just start the video and by the way look at my hairstyle i like it so much because actually guys it's very obvious that i can rock one hairstyle for a month like braids if i have braids on because I always don't know how to style it but today i struggled like it took me like 15 minutes to achieve this like this simple look anyway i hope it's nice because i like it like seriously i like it and it's getting old i have to do something so the very first question we have here which countries of the world what is this google which countries of the world have you already visited who wrote this <laughs> okay i'm sure it is which countries in the world have you already visited so i visited south korea uh, I'm a Cameroonian and I'm here in Germany. I have visited Belgium. I have visited Holland and uh, If you are traveling to another country and you transit in another country, does that mean that you have visited a country? Let me know in the comment section, but I'll say yes. So when I was going to South Korea, I had my transit in Turkey, yeah, in Turkey, I was there for about 11 hours, guys. 11 good hours. So they gave us a room. Imagine I had time to walk around the airport, and so I've been to Turkey, right? And when I was coming to Germany, my transit was in Russia. I was there for about three hours as well. So I think I've also visited Russia. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if that's for sure. And if not, Okay, then we leave that out. Then I've been to Germany, where I am right now, South Korea, Belgium, and Holland. The next question, which destination is the number one in your bucket list? Cameroon. Cameroon, my country, guys. I want to see my family members. I miss everybody so, so much. What is your most ideal holiday? Okay, I don't even want to lie. I don't even want to pretend. Okay, I just want to go away for some time with my husband. Let me not be getting the noise like, Mama, Mama, <laughs> Mama, money after the if you understand. That does not mean that I don't want to the kids that doesn't mean that I don't want to go on holidays with my kids. That doesn't mean that <laughs> I don't love my kids, but for sure. If I want to be honest, my most ideal holiday at the moment would be just traveling to another country, touristic side, 
with my husband just the two of us and if i have to go with my kids of course that should be like another second ideal holiday but if it has to be that we have to travel like a family no problem but honestly i want to travel with my husband like for one week just the two of us okay so which place did you think was so special that you would love to go back there sometime okay guys i'd love to go back to south korea to go and visit the country to go and enjoy my life because i miss that country like right now when i was in korea i did not get to discover so many things i always started liking loving the country uh when i was about to leave you understand it's very obvious that if you travel to if you travel to another country it might take you like one year two years to to fully adapt okay so for me it was kind of mm, food was mm, and other things but i started liking and loving everything about korea just when i was about to leave and you guys will not believe it when i was pregnant my first pregnancy i was only craving for korean foods like kimchi samgyepsa so many things came pop i miss all of that a lot so i love to go back there and korea is so developed like right now like it's developed technology right right on point if you go to incheon airport <laughs> guys i'll show you guys whenever i travel to south korea okay show us your nicest holiday photo at the moment i don't have because uh after i travel to uh hold on but my phone got bad did you have to travel for work sometime if yes where okay now if you are asking about traveling out of your country to go and work no but if you are talking about traveling within your country yeah within germany yeah because i travel at least from one city to another to go and work but out of the country no with who are you mostly going on holiday my husband and my friends i mean like husband that is one set and then my friends i cannot wait to go on holiday with my like going to see all of that whenever it happens okay can't wait to go on holidays with my friends with who would you like to go on a vacation sometime my husband of course my kids oh. and another set with my friends the next question is who or what would you take with you to an uninhabited island that would be my husband my husband uh my friends and then my phone my camera what else my laptop my money <laughs> my purse identification everything the next one did you already did you already went oh my god did you already go on vacation in the netherlands yeah i was there if yes where in venlo i was there so the next one would you rather go to an amusement park or a zoo take me to an amusement park i don't want to go to any zoo i've seen all the animals in my country cameroon okay let me go and have fun in an amusement park would you rather go on a sky or a sun vacation take me to a sun vacation please please uh what is your nicest holiday memory um for now nope because when i went to venlo it wasn't like a planned trip you understand we just went there spent about eight hours and then we came back during summer we just went to see the city so i'll not call that any holiday memory yeah this question is what is your least nicest holiday memory i'll say um, in cameroon sometimes to travel from one city to another because of bad roads that trip might be so so boring so bad and just everything and talking about <laughs> maybe with people relatives family members uh, one time i visited an aunt and guys you know when you visit some people mm, when you go on holidays and then the things that you normally will not do or you don't do <laughs> in your own house and you get there they start telling you do this do that guys it was a no for me and then i just said to myself it's time to go <laughs> yeah so that's it 
the next one to which country or countries are you going on holiday this year so this year this is 2021 so after the pandemic in case like in case borders are not closed i will be visiting france i want to go to paris <laughs> yeah it's not that far i just spent two hours and i'm there where would you never go on holiday okay guys i don't want to say never like seriously i don't want to say never because i remember when i was in korea when i just came and uh, my friends would be like let's eat kimchi and i said mm -mm -mm, i can never eat this thing this thing is smelling this thing is like this but guys right now i'm craving for kimchi i ate kimchi i was eating kimchi it was my best also other things that i i, I cannot even remember the names and when i also just got to korea uh i said i will not eat pizza i'll never eat burger but when i tasted that oh my god please i need pizza right now <laughs> i need pizza i need burger korean pizza yeah korean pizza is really really delicious i won't lie last question and i think we have come to the end of this video but before i go when i was in cameroon i only knew that going on holiday you have to go to a family member you understand or friend or i mean you have to really travel and go to somebody's house but in abroad it's not the same you can actually plan your holiday travel to another country spend your days in a hotel you can travel with your friends go have fun like you can just travel anywhere you want on your own and that is holiday for you you must not go to a relative's house you must not go to you must not go to your boyfriend or whoever you can actually travel with your boyfriend your sister and uh, any other person to another country and you guys spend the holiday in a hotel but in cameroon growing up i only knew that okay if i'm going on holidays i should go to my auntie my uncle family friend and all of that so if you are watching this video right now and you are in cameroon you have not visited so many places in your within cameroon that's one thing i really regret not doing honestly speaking i did not explore my country enough so whenever i have the opportunity to do that trust me i'm going to visit so many cities in cameroon so if you are watching this video right now and you're in cameroon and you have not visited like 10 cities and above and then you are lacking you are sleeping behind you have to do that you have to save your money and travel to just travel travel around Cameroon okay if you don't have money to travel out of Cameroon for holidays travel within your country visit uh, touristic sites visit very beautiful cities you can spend maybe uh, 5,000 to sleep in an auberge maybe for a week the cheapest one you must not go to the fancy places and all of that at the end of the day you are having fun for yourself you are discovering new cities new places because for me traveling is part of education and it is one of my hobbies That's something okay. new i'll be appreciating the first five people who comment under any video that i upload this is not to say that i don't appreciate all of you no but I cannot give a shout out to maybe 100 comments and all of that so if you want me to give you a shout out like a special special shout out make sure to turn on your notifications so that when i just upload a video you will get that so today we have Ari Beatrice, oh my god, thank you so much sis, this is my sister, she's watching me from Cameroon, it's not easy, my god, for you guys buying data, I appreciate a lot. The second person I have is Emeldan Jiki, thank you so much darling, she is a Cameroonian YouTuber by the way, check out her videos, subscribe and uh, yeah. The next person we have here is Njume Priska, thank you so much sis, she is also a Cameroonian YouTuber and she is in Cameroon, thank you. The next shout out I've given three already. The next one is Johanna Life Experience. She is also a YouTuber. Thank you so much, dear. Check out her videos. And the last we have here, Krista Zone. Thank you so, so much. She is also a YouTuber, by the way. Check out her channel. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope 
you enjoyed watching like the video subscribe share and see you in my next video bye